It takes about 22,000 tonnes of seawater to make one tonne of bromine. Every minute, 300,000 gallons of seawater are drawn into the Amluk plant by huge pumps. The water is lifted some 50 feet into the seawater ponds, where any marine debris is removed. From the ponds, it's passed into the seawater main, where chlorine and dilute sulfuric acid are added. This releases the bromine, which is then literally blown out of the water in these blowing out towers. The treated water enters the tower at the top, where it's spread out in a shower. It drops over 20 feet through the packed section of the tower, where it's met by upward currents of air generated by the fans. On meeting the airstream, most of the bromine is stripped from the seawater. The water is returned to the sea, and the wet, bromine-laden air passes from the top of the tower to be treated with sulphur dioxide and water. This produces mists of hydrobromic and sulfuric acids. These mists pass into an absorber, where the acid coalesces. From here, it flows to a collecting tank. The virtually bromine-free air is returned to the blowing out tower, where the cycle begins again. The acidic product from the absorber is now referred to as primary acid liquor and contains about 13% bromine as hydrobromic acid. The primary acid liquor is next pumped to the steaming out tower. It enters the top of the tower where it's treated with chlorine and steam. This releases the bromine as a vapour which is then condensed to form a liquid. The bulk of the bromine produced goes into making dibromoethane. The remainder is sold or used to make other bromine intermediates. <laughs>